I'm going after this mechanical scout, I could use a couple pointers. Mechanical's got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is um, the blue glowy square thing. The okay, <laughs> we'll keep that in mind. I, I kind of like that guy. Welcome back, everybody, to The Outer Worlds. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are going to continue our adventure here. Um, okay, so something uh, something happened to me that uh, was not good. Basically, I died. <laughs> and when I died, because I'm playing on Supernova, uh, I pretty much lost all of the progress that I made in the town of Edgewater. So put me basically back out uh, to the save point, which was right in front of the gates. And so uh, the reason that I died is because I was kind of messing around with Pavardi there, and I hit the X key, and the X key is actually the target key, and I I told her to go attack a guard, and I was just kind of, you know, messing around, wasn't even thinking about it. And uh, so she attacked the guard, and then the guards attacked us and killed me, and basically I lost all that progress. And so what I did is I loaded back in and basically retraced my steps as best as I could, um, and then once I got caught back up, I fast traveled back to the ship, uh, so that we could actually uh, make a save point, and plus I need to sleep anyways. So because we're playing on Supernova, the only place that I can manually save is on the ship, and the only place that I can fast travel to is the ship. So I can't fast travel to anywhere else other than to my ship, and because that's the only way uh, that I can save, uh, you know, we are going to take advantage of fast traveling. So it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt because we can only come to the ship but we can't fast travel back from it to wherever we were. So, you know, that's just pretty much how we have to deal with that. Um, I love the challenge of, of Supernova. I love the, the survival aspects, having to eat, drink, sleep, that sort of thing. But I do not like the fact that we can't save the game whenever the hell we want, or at least have regular checkpoints. Uh, I don't like that, and I hope somebody makes a mod at some point like they did with Fallout 4 uh, to override that uh, in the future. Okay, so let's go back to our ship here. Uh, looks like we still have Inspector Dingling here uh, inspecting the crime scene. But let's go on in. Um, we need to sleep anyways because we're starting to lose stats and that sort of thing uh, from not being able to sleep. So we'll get that taken care of and we'll get saved up and then we'll head on back to town and continue on. Now, while we're here, though, um, I want to go to the workbench and, you know, some of the stuff that we looted we've got here. So oh, we've got an impact hammer. Uh, I noticed, too, that, you know, that not necessarily everything that I looted the first time around was there again, you know, from the reload. So it's all, you know, um, RNG stuff. So this is currently uh, what we have. So uh, I sold some of this stuff to the vending machine. But um, I'm thinking what we might want to do is actually break some things down and not necessarily sell it all to the vending machine. Now, I did notice in the vending machine that there was a, oh, this is a shock Hammer two. You know what? Let's um let's look at that for just a second. Um, I noticed that. Wait a minute. Where's that? Um. Impact hammer. This is a one-handed hammer. Originally. Okay, but what's the what's the gray mean? Modify tinker. Oh, does that mean that that's in the workbench because it's not in my inventory uh, that's really weird hmm one-handed melee knockdown modifications mr. zap so I don't I don't quite what get this what does this mean oh that's a mod that's installed okay what's it installed on this light pistol no 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 it has a thing called mr. zap installed on it what I don't understand though is where is it because if I leave the workbench I don't have it. It's not in my inventory. Oh, wow, that's really weird. It's almost like it's 
in the workbench already, but I don't know how I would pull it out. Install mod escape, hold, flip, sort, name. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get that. I'm not sure what the hell's going on. If we do E to install mod, prove your, your weapons armor. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm confused about that because I don't, I don't actually see it anywhere in my inventory. So I'm not sure where that thing actually exists. Okay, well, hopefully hopefully we'll be able to figure that out later. Okay, so let's see. Where is... This is stuff that we can repair. That's at 97%, so it's in pretty good shape. We've only used it a couple of times. Um... Let's see, can we modify or no? What do we need to repair this? We need weapon parts. We have... So it looks like it needs... Oh, okay, it, yeah, it needs eight weapon parts to repair. The other thing is, is, I thought we had the ability to break down junk, but it's not... I don't see that ability when we get into the workbench. I wonder if we have to be an engineer to be able to do that. Because it only lets us break down this stuff here. Uh, stun baton. All right, let's do this. Let's go back to here. Let's put the... Let's put the um, stuff that's, you know, in good shape in here. This is 73 DPS. That's 89 yeah, let's put that in there instead of the sword. Plus, it's got the, you know, the shock stuff on it, too. Now, the rest of this stuff, we could sell it or we could just break it down. Um, so let's just break it down, I think. We'll just break all of it down. And that gives us uh, some weapon parts. And then we have enough weapon parts to repair this. I don't know that that... Do we need to do that right now, though? Because, I mean, it's in 97% shape. I think... Let, let's not do that yet. Let's let's hold on to our weapons parts. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'm not... Again, I just don't get this. I'm not sure. The other thing, too, is why does it have a gray thing around it? What's that supposed to mean? It's just really odd. Fast firing. I've... Both of these things have modifications on them. Does that mean that they're somewhere else in... Like in a locker somewhere in the ship and we can just access them, you know, from the workbench? I'm starting to think maybe that's what that means. All right, well, let's go... Somewhere we're supposed to have a bed around here. we got to find that. That's the engine room. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. I've been able to get out Please here. I them. so would have stripped this for parts. Stripped my ship for parts? You wouldn't want to do that. All right, okay, how come it's not giving me the option to climb? Oh, because I'm on the wrong side. Okay, let's go up here. We weren't, we weren't able to go into the living quarters before because we hadn't... Uh, Convince the ship computer that we were Captain Hawthorne. <laughs> Excuse me. But, nope, they're still sealed. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Where's my quarters? Um. Okay. Sealed. Okay, I gotta, I gotta find my quarters so I can sleep in my bed. <laughs> Oh, there's stuff in here. Really? I have to lockpick my own locker? What the hell? Let's get that Adreno. Adreno. Uh, well, all right. Let's do it. We'll get XP and whatever's in there. Nice. Oh, nice. Look at that. A light assault rifle. Beautiful. I wanted one of those because I wanted to start doing some sniping. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to put the assault rifle in four. 
Excellent. This is probably an automatic because it's an assault rifle, would be my guess. Um, that's the doorway out. This goes up. Where does this go? Captain's quarters. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Sealed? Wait a minute. What the hell? Um, if that's sealed, how in the hell are we supposed to sleep? Maybe we need to talk to the computer again. Okay, let's talk to the computer. What can I do for you, Captain? I'll be back. Whoop, excuse me. The navigation console is offline at this time, Captain. All right, so we got a problem here, guys. I can't save the game, nor can I rest without sleeping in a bed on my ship. But I can't get into my captain's quarters to sleep on my ship or save. So, what the hell? <laughs> I don't understand. Unless the game expects me to do all the stuff in Edgewater before that becomes available to me, but gosh, man, I don't want to... If I die, like, you know, doing quests, I gotta start all over again? That doesn't make sense. What am I missing? There's gotta be a bed or something around here. That's sealed, too. Huh. Alright, um... That's the journal. We got stuff in the codex. I read. Actually, I actually read all this stuff offline. Um, I just wonder if it tells me anything more about you know how we have to save at the ship and that sort of thing. Modifications. My guess about that hammer is that it exists maybe in my quarters, so I can access it because it's on the ship. But I can't put it in my inventory unless I actually get to it itself. Stealth, companions, symbols. All right, yeah, there's nothing in there that tells me what to do. So that's that's a little confusing. I wonder if that's just a bug, uh, you know, with the game, that they didn't think about, you know, what people would do on on Supernova for saving. In the very early game because I can't you know I can't throw an auto save or anything like that maybe I have to get that power regulator in order to be able to get in there because she's not giving me any more information I try and talk to her you, captain goodbye huh all right well that kind of sucks I guess we go out. I wonder if that actually did a save for us. I don't really know. I didn't see anything on the screen that said we just saved. Well, let's go back to uh, Edgewater again, I guess. Maybe, you know, maybe that saved for me when I went in the ship and came back out again. I, I just don't know. I'm glad we got this rifle, though. It's going to come in handy. Is she coming with me? You know, I'm supposed... There's supposed to be, like, a character screen. Companion ledger. Oh, that's where that stuff is. She's can't, can't hanging on to it. Oh, 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 okay. Now I see what's going on. Now I see what's going on. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, like, so confused. Uh, what does this give her? This gives her tech scale 5... Light armor seven, yeah. So that's better than the hibernation suit. Um, she does she have a perk available? No, she doesn't. Zero perks. Okay. And behavior. This is where I tell her how to follow and that sort of thing. Okay. Here's the thing. On um. On supernova, your companion can actually die. So I'm thinking we should probably make her passive or at least defensive, and have her maybe. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll keep we'll let her do mixed. Um and we'll try that. I mean, I don't want her to die, but if she's not going to, you know, for AI is going to be kind of stupid, then that could happen. 
we might, you know, when we get into a, like a really dangerous situation, we might even have to tell her to stay put. So I don't think I really absolutely need her. Oh, you know, there's one other thing too. Um, Not today. Just helping this fella. Oh, they talked to each other. That's kind of cool. Um, I was when I reloaded, I wandered down here for a second. I was just looking around. Oh yeah, that's the path. And there's another guy we can loot over here. Dead dude. Uh, where was he at? Right here. Okay. And then there's some um, some hostiles down there, which I don't think we want to mess with right now. Well, I'm a, I'm a little bit nervous about not being able to save or rest. Um, that does make me nervous. I don't know what to do about it at this point, because I'm, oh, I can only sleep on my ship. I believe. So let's go back in here. The, the game does have limited, uh, you know, uh, save point, automatic save points in Supernova, but I have no control over those or what they are. So I guess we're just going to continue on and hope for the best here. Um, my sleep deprivation is going to be a serious issue at some point. If you're falling sick, I don't want you. So let's see, where had we left off? We had I'm just come out of the Salt Tuna factory, and um, I think there was some there was somebody standing up against the wall that we were going to talk to, like right over here somewhere. But that person may not be there anymore. General Store, Spacer's Choice. I think they were like standing right there. There was some woman. But I don't see her anymore. Okay, well, um... <clears throat> I think we had to do something in the cantina. You're not a big drinker, are you? A big drinker. Cannery workers. You read the latest report? Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. If only McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned us, Cannery could use those X-ray. I don't know you. Amelia Kim. Um, Alex Hawthorne, Captain of the Unreliable. Uh-huh. The Unreliable, you say? Never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name. It is kind of an interesting name. I don't know what name. you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, <laughs> hard-working company folk here. Okay, so, um... And what a fine establishment it is. Could it be easy? Let's uh, use our perception. <laughs> Am I that easy to read? Yeah. We've been having <clears throat> some problems lately. Loyalty issues. Lines in the sand. I know where folk in Edgewater stand. But you... I don't know you. If you're gonna have a drink, I'd like to ask that you do it within the premises. Can't have you taking drinks over to those deserters. So she's talking about the deserters over by the... Yeah, Reed mentioned those. Traitors. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. The town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slickwits <clears throat> abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Rung leeches. Anyway... Enough about them. What can I do for you? She doesn't think very highly of those people, do they? Um, I'll have a drink. Coming right up. Merchant skill. Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors. Excuse me. Okay, so she has normal water. Man, that stuff's expensive. Um, Sell. So we've got uh, four apple juices, and we got some of those dehydrated water tablets. So I don't, we don't need to buy any water from her. Um, and I, you know, I want to keep all my food and water for now because, of course, we need to use it. So looks like I can. Oh, you know what? Though we could sell this stuff to her. Um, it's interesting that she will buy this though, since she's a bartender. But I mean, <clears throat> since this is junk, the only thing we deal with junk, I guess, is sell it, right? 
So let's do that. Okay, so that gets us up to 617 bank. Okay, nice. All right, I guess that's all we're going to do with her. This must go into the back area. <clears throat> She's just going to let me walk back here and not say, say anything. <laughs> well, here we go. I'm glad we didn't buy anything from her and we can just steal from her. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though, because in... in other games, you know, like Skyrim and Fallout and so forth, if you go into, like, a vendor's back room, they'll actually follow you and keep an eye on you. Apparently, they don't do that in this one. Fast ration pill. I'm glad, uh, Pavardi doesn't care that, uh, I've got, uh, little sticky fingers here. <laughs> she doesn't seem to mind. Why why buy stuff when we can steal it, right? That's that's my motto. Yeah, I don't see anything in here. This goes out onto the balcony. Spacer's Corona. Those must be cigarettes. Okay. It looks like that's all we can do here so let's head on out this place is in kind of rough shape can we play the piano nope all right let's get back on track here um if you're falling sick i don't want you near me don't worry i wouldn't do that to you see i thought there was something we were supposed to go into the cannery for but i can't remember what it was so let's take a look at our journal here <clears throat> so um <laughs> excuse me. Um that's the main quest and this is the one where we have to deliver Reed's message and we can also speak to the vicar. Um fistful of digits is oh yeah, the bounty hunting. Uh let's finish this grave matter one though first. I want to finish that before we do anything else. So we've got um the vicar there. Botanical lab. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, oh, we got to double click on it to make that the active quest. Okay, so there's Martin Abernathy, and then we also have Ludwig. So let's, since we're still in town, let's go talk to Abernathy first. Wish we had some better rations. So he's over this way. Oh, I guess he's outside of town too. All right. Transition to the Emerald Vale region. Canid examined. Internal anatomy. The Emerald Vale region. Interesting. All right, where's uh, where's he at? Wait, what? What the hell's going on? It said he was outside here. I'm confused. Prefabricated living, just like home. Wait a minute. <laughs> what the hell, man? Now it says Abernathy's over there. I'm confused. All right, let's go over here. <laughs> Wish we had some better rations. Is he inside of here? Yeah, there he is. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Okay. Oh, sweet merciful law. A marauder's in my domicile. Um. Wave your gun, hand over all your bits. <laughs> um, no, I'm not going to do that to him because <clears throat> he's, we've, he's, our, he's part of our quest. So let's just um, tell him that we're not a marauder. Hey, take it easy. I'm not a marauder. The reason you're running around outfitted like one of those monsters? Did Mr. Thompson send you to put the fear in me? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Um, I heard you. Perception. You want to tell me what's got you so nervous? Yeah, let's do a perception on him. He's some sort of wandering alienist? 
walking into a man's An old alienist? domicile, pestering him about his mental state. What the hell's an alienist? Um, I'm here to collect your gravesite fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. He knows what? Yeah, knows what? Okay, hold. He told me everything. How long did you think you could keep a secret like that? Now yeah, let's tell him that. See what he says. Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. Don't say that, Mr. Abernathy. You still got a couple decades in you? I'd steer clear, Ms. Holcomb. My affliction's bound to be contagious. <laughs> it's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. <laughs> um... I'm sure it's all very tragic and heartbreaking. Pay me so I can get out of here. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Um... Yeah, why do you think I'm a freelancer? Well, because I'm already working for Silas, but... Oh, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing by it. wasn't trying to insult you. Why would I be insulted? Or it's just you ain't one of us. A spacer, I mean. Stands to reason you got no company looking after you. Well, that's true. Not your fault, though. Even freelancers gotta eat. And if that means they must scratch some bits out of odd jobs, who am I to judge them? At least you're not a deserter. All right. What kind of job are you looking for? A couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. Second story work. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Um. Yeah, not so fast. Why do you want me to do this? I'll do what I can. Wait, what? Why can't you just buy the medicine yourself? Nah, I assume there are guards. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. <clears throat> marauders, on the other hand. What can you tell me about these marauders? I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. Why can't you just buy the medicine yourself? I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. Right, okay. Um, in other words, the company won't treat you because you're already sick. <laughs> Come on now, Abernathy, you don't look a day over 90. Let's, <laughs> let's say that. Tell myself the same thing every morning. You've seen those young workers at the cannery? What with their unbent spines and pristine knee joints? I can't compete with that. Alright, heard enough. So you'll do it then? Um, I'll think about it. Oh, so that didn't, did that give me the option to do it? Oh yeah, the long tomorrow. Abernathy asked you to bring him a cache of anthracillin hidden in the Emerald Vale Community Center. Okay, um, you didn't see that, right? <laughs> You'd think she would like be upset that I'm stealing stuff. What's in here? Oh, this is like his his room. Bice pass shunt. This is the bathroom. So far, I haven't found any loot in any bathrooms in this game. Wish I could sleep in his bed. All right, let's go. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Oh, that's the lady we were going to talk to earlier. Okay, let's see what she's got to say. Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. 
I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. <clears throat> Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Oh, really? What do you need it for? Medical Five's got symptoms of something. You're saying it's psychomanic. Psychosomatic. Uh, yeah. Well, what do you need for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Um, let me worry about that. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. <clears throat> um, you need someone to smuggle your medicine under the table. Abernathy's paying me for my trouble. Can you match that offer? I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. All right, I'll think about it. That's all I can ask of you. Okay. So now we have the choice of either getting Abernathy the drugs or giving it to her, and she says she's going to pay us better. Knowing my character, we'll probably go with her. Maybe. We'll see, though. We have to think about it. Okay, so Ludwig. we got to go talk to Ludwig. Let's finish up this quest. And, um... We, and then we got to wrap up the video because it's, uh, the timer just went off. Damn timer. All right. So where's he at? Down that way. We haven't been over this direction yet. This looks like crap out here. What are all these buildings like? They're like power stations or something. Alright, so that's another door. This looks like the docks or something. Oh, landing pad, okay. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. I Interesting. This is kind of cool looking out here. Alright, let's talk to... Uh, Oh, we got another workbench. Okay, cool. Cigarette lighter. What's this? Thinking cap let. All right. Is that like some kind of potion or something? Probably. We don't have enough thing modules to break in there. I'm still not sure what the <clears throat> what the top thing is. We probably have to have like 16 strength to break it. I'm guessing we only have five, maybe something like that. Spacer's Corona or smokes. There's another bot. Oh trouble? shit, that wasn't good. What do you think you're doing? Um Intimidate whatever I want. Do what you want, I guess. <laughs> okay. Um that probably gave us bad rep though, didn't it? Let's take a look. Reputation. Yeah, we're we're minus two percent with spacer choice now. Okay, we got to be careful about that. Um, let's talk to this guy. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. What? What are you battling about, Silas? Sim yeah, forget that. You owe Silas money. I want it. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Okay, maybe. Um, what are you babbling about? The war. The coming apocalypse. Man versus machine. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. <laughs> iron and lies. Um, uh, yeah, I gotta watch out for those. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto mechanicals. Auto mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant, clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. Firing at the birds? The swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill. Where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? Um... I got a question for you? Go on. 
Um, what do you have against mechanicals? Yeah, what do you have against them? You ever seen the way a mechanical just stands there? Just looking at you, scanning you with its murderous oculars. Murderous oculars. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what they were programmed to do. Mechanicals have been programmed to eliminate the human race. Really? They've been programmed to replace us. Are you sure about that? First, they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken away our livelihoods, they will take away our very lives. Hmm. Um. Okay. Well, you know what? If you're uh, wanting me to kill stuff so I can get experience and you're going to pay me and stuff, uh, I might play along. I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans, mostly. Some spaces chaw. A few bit cards. I'll reward you for your aid. All right. Sounds good, man. Um, proper armies pay enlistment fees. Enlistment fees? Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. <laughs> uh, okay, you've gained bit card for 75. Nice, okay. What do you need done? They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. <clears throat> the scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. All right. We can do that. Um, if I'm going after this mechanical scout, I could use a couple pointers. Mechanical's got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is um, the blue glowy square thing. The okay, <laughs> we'll keep that in mind. I, I kind of like that guy. He's nuts, but I kind of like him. All right, guys, we are out of time. So uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here, and we'll just pick up right where we left off. Um, like I said, I'm a little bit concerned that I can't actually go back to the ship and save um, and it, because my quarters are sealed. So I don't know. We're just going to keep going, and, you know, hopefully we don't die until we can, you know, get that opened up. But it seems to me like that's not right, that the game should let us be able to do that. Uh, but I'll look into it a little bit more offline, too, and see if I can figure out, you know, if I'm misinterpreting something or whatever. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Share out the video and leave a comment. Those things do help, and I do appreciate it. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.